It's senior night here at the Bank of Kentucky Center on the campus of Northern Kentucky University as the Norse host the Jacksonville Dolphins in the last regular season game of the season for Northern Kentucky University. I'm Brady Labor along with Jay Chadwell and it's time of year is bittersweet for everybody when the seniors make their last appearance in front of the home crowd. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, NKU wanting to come out, this is it. They don't have any uh, postseason chances, so they want to come out and win for their seniors and win for the home crowd today. And of course, Northern Kentucky's women with four seniors, but we've got a junior in the star watch for Northern Kentucky, Kayla Thacker. She's been really getting after it as of late. Four of her last five games, she's been double digits in rebounding, and she's matched up with a freshman, Gwen Alford, who actually come off the bench for the first part of the season and has worked her way in the starting lineup, and Queen Alford out of Decatur, Georgia, is the reigning A-Sun newcomer of the week. So even though it's a senior day theme, a couple of non-seniors in our star watch for this big matchup between the Norse and the Dolphins. Let's take a look at our standings in the Atlantic Sun. And right now, Northern Kentucky will finish no worse than in fourth place. And that's an outstanding thing for this university as far as women's basketball projected in the preseason polls towards the bottom being a first year division one program as they are currently 11 and six jacksonville trying to make sure that they don't fall any further as far as seating goes for the upcoming a sun tournament which will be next week down at mercer university jacksonville coming into this game with a 7 and 10 record 11 and 17 overall are down low here at the Bank of Kentucky Center is Northern Kentucky with the starting lineups. Let's take a look at them for both teams. We've already mentioned Queen Alford. She's joined in the backcourt by, by Holiday and Wilson. Jade Cargill, who came here as a guard, has been moved to the front court, and the leading scorer, Tracy Sneed, is also in the front court for Jacksonville. For Northern Kentucky, They'll go with the four seniors to join Kayla Thacker at guard. It'll be Jamie Hamlet. And then on the front line, Kelsey Simpson, who gets the start, along with Tierra Hopper and Ellen Holton. Simpson, of course, hasn't played much this year, coming off of an ACL injury. She's only appeared in six games this season, but she'll get the start on senior night here tonight. All right, the third member of our team, Alyssa Walterman is standing by. I believe she's also a senior and she is gonna talk about her discussion earlier with Coach Don Blitzewhite. Alyssa, take it away. Thanks, Brady. Seeing that it is Coach Blitzy White's last game of her first season at NKU, she had a lot of things on her mind going into today's game, but she did say Jacksonville is really tough and that there will be a lot of free throws in today's game that they need to prevent. So that she hopes the girls can contain and really work on their defense without fouling. Back to you, Brady. Thank you very much, Alyssa. And as she mentioned, Jacksonville second in the conference in free throw shooting percentage at just over 73% as Northern Kentucky gets the opening tip and they'll have it on offense first. And knocking out of bounds by Jacksonville, number 15, that's Maggie Wilson. Maggie Wilson's a nice story. She's got some friends and family that traveled up I-75 from Lexington, a senior out of Lexington Catholic High School. So she is playing in front of some friends and family on this senior day for NKU. So that's a nice little touch on the Jacksonville side as Hopper puts up a long range jumper, no good. And Kayla Thacker goes up and gets it. And Northern Kentucky will start the offense over. There's a lob pass down to Holton, hand off to Hopper. Spin move, no good. It's Simpson with the rebound, and Northern Kentucky will get to reset the offense again. It's Jacksonville having to play prolonged defense here. We've almost a minute in, and Jacksonville does not have an offensive possession as Thacker puts it up, no good, and finally the Dolphins end up with a rebound. Here's Cardill, number five. She can play both the post as she's playing now, but originally a guard. She shoots over top of Hopper, no good. And it's Simpson already with two rebounds in the early going. Yeah, Simpson, that, that knee looks fine right now for Kelsey. She's got, as you said, two boards here early. So Northern Kentucky trying to get on the scoreboard first. Here's Hopper with it. 
backer from the top of the key rattles off and it's rebounded strong by Cargill. Brittany Holiday, number 12 with it. Try to get it down low to Sneed. Holiday, and she knocks down the first basket of the game. The three point shot gives the Dolphins a three to nothing lead. That was a good looking shot, and that's what Jacksonville's gonna do against this particular lineup with NKU. They have three posts in the game. And the opposite thing is Jacksonville primarily with five guards as the steal and the run out for Alford. No good, she couldn't quite compose herself for the drive to the basket, but it's Wilson with the long rebound. Holiday from long range, no good, and Hopper gets it. And Northern Kentucky trying to get on the scoreboard here in the early going. Simpson down low, shoots it with the left hand, no good. She hits the deck, no call. And Jacksonville in the transition. Holiday drives, and it's knocked away by Jamie Hamlet. Northern Kentucky will make the substitution as Kelsey Simpson will step off the floor as she played really well in her run as you look at Dawn Plitzowite, the first year head coach of Northern Kentucky and she has ensured that this team will continue the 30 season consecutive winning streak as a program. 30 consecutive winning seasons. That's pretty good by anybody's watch. Yeah, anybody, any program in America that does that, regardless of what division, you know they're doing something right. And it's Holton down low off the block. And Northern Kentucky finally scores. It's three to two now. So Christine Roush, the normal starter, checks in in place of Simpson. Coach Blitzwhite asked Simpson if she was okay. I wouldn't be surprised to see her get some run later on in this game. I don't think, I think this could be more than just a courtesy start for the senior out of Russell, Kentucky. Here's Sneed with it. She's the leading scorer. No good. And it's Holton ending up with a rebound. Looked like Sneed got a little too far underneath the basket that time. Hopper runs it down, but can't collect herself in time. And Jacksonville ends up with it. This is Holiday. This team is not very tall here, so they're going to have to make things happen on the perimeter, it looks like. Yeah, and they are pushing their pace. NKU's playing at a faster pace than they're, what they're used to with this five-set guard that Jacksonville's got in. Well, Cargill started as a guard, number five. She's now a post player, and Sneed pretty much is the size of a guard. And connecting on the basket is Brittany Holiday, and she'll go to the line with the and one. As we take a look at Jacksonville's head coach, that's Liz Dunn done in her ninth season. If she wins today, that'll be career win number 150 for the Georgia Southern alum. 11th year overall as a head coach. She coached two years at Western Carolina University. So Holiday goes for the old fashioned three point play and she'll convert. And now it's six to two Jacksonville. The Dolphins won the earlier matchup down at their place, the Swisher Arena. 65 to 60 on New Year's Eve. As Christine Roush has it. Here's Hopper from about 18 feet. No good. And it's rebounded by Alford. New player in the game for Jacksonville, number 24, Brianna Brown. Here's Wilson. Brown has it now. She has to kick it back out to Wilson. Alford for three. Nice job by Alford as Thacker was right up on her and That's Alford knocks it down anyway. That's one of those shots that you just tip your cap because you did all you could on defense. You had a hand in her face and she still knocks it down. Tip your cap if you're wearing one. So Northern Kentucky trailing here nine to two. Is a lot of times what happens on a senior day, the home team kind of struggles in the early going with all the emotion and such. Here's Gayhart who checked in earlier, and she lays it up and in, and she is fouled. So the freshman out of Owen County gets on the board, and she will go to the free throw line when we come back from our first break. Jacksonville leads things 9-4 to four with 15-14 left to go. As, of course, we talked about it being senior day. We'll go ahead and keep it right here as we were able to capture some of the images from senior day. They had the ceremony right before tip-off there. You see the group shot as we talked about Kelsey Simpson.
being a four-year player for the North, she helped NKU to two different NCAA D2 tournament appearances during her first three seasons. She has compiled more than 300 points and 200 rebounds during her career, and she led the team in block shots last year. She also scored a career 18 points last year against Bellman, and that was right here at the Bank of Kentucky Center. Another senior we have is Elton Holton, a three-year letter winner as she began her career and played her freshman ball at Tusculum. During her three years at NKU, she scored more than 700 points and has earned all Great Lakes Valley Conference honors last season as a junior. Earlier this year, Ellen netted a career-high 26 points to lead NKU on the road at USC Upstate, and she's also collected her first double-double just recently, 22 and 11 at Lipscomb, and that helped in NKU enjoy successful first year here in Division One. Also, Tierra Hopper, another transfer. She played two years at Tennessee Tech before transferring here to NKU, and she's been the big inside force, leading the team in scoring and rebounding at certain times during the year, also in field goal percentage. And just a week ago, she pulled down 22 points in a 69-60 win at Mercer, which is probably the signature win so far for this team, snapping a Mercer 12-game winning streak. And let's not forget Jamie Hamlet, a four-year winner out of there you take a look at Jamie as she's out of the game right now. She needs just one more three-pointer to reach the 100 mark in her career. And in addition to that, Jamie has also scored over 500 career points while dishing out 200 assists for NKU this during her career. So pretty much the foundation of year number one in Division One are moving on after this game. And I actually, most of them have job opportunities outside of basketball as the shot is no good, but Tierra Hopper is looking to play internationally for a couple years while her body can still hold up. As she played very well in the Division I level at Tennessee Tech, transferred here to be closer to her home in Louisville and ended up getting to play an extra year in Division I here at NKU. So Northern Kentucky, after Gayhart makes the free throw, it's nine to five. And now we have a foul against Ellen Holton. And so that is the team's second foul. So Jacksonville will inbound it underneath its own basket with Maggie Wilson out of Lexington Catholic. And she throws it away into the hands of Rihanna Gayhart. Gayhart looked like she wanted to take it all the way, but couldn't. She finds Roush instead. Here's Holton. She got fouled, but got away. They didn't call it. When she made the spin move, it looked like she got hammered, but either way, she made the basket. Yeah, and that point was made, points were made possible by Rihanna Gayhart, as you see her almost come up with another steal there. She stole the inbound, and then instead of forcing the issue, brought it back out and looked for a better shot. Gayhart has been the spark plug off the bench all season long. I would imagine she'll have an opportunity to start next season. She has a bright future in front of her as Brown's shot is blocked by Doss, who's in the game. Melody Doss, a sophomore out of Indiana. And Jacksonville ends up being the last team to touch it before it goes out of bounds. Tracy Sneed comes back in for Jacksonville. Brown going out. Also number 21, Stephanie Edwards into the ball game for Jacksonville. 21 in green. There's Holton. Working on Sneed, too strong, and now it's Wilson. So Northern Kentucky has cut the Jacksonville lead to two. Sneed will take it all the way, and she's fouled by Doss. I like the way Sneed is able to take it to the basket there and create the foul. Yeah, and Coach P is yelling at Melody Doss to take the charge there. She was definitely in position. And then fouled, fouled Jacksonville and almost let the three-point play happen and let the shot get up anyway. Sneed puts up the first and it went about halfway down and bounced out. Yeah, Sneed in the first game had 18 points with a couple key late points in that Jacksonville win, 65 to 60. Sneed makes the second. And now the Dolphins are in double digits. And they're coming out in a press here. Backer. Beats it, gives it to Doss. Now they swing it around. Holton. Well, looks like they've fallen back into some sort of matchup zone. And Gayhart pulls up at the A Sun logo and knocks it down. Rihanna Gayhart, she has that right wrist tape. But didn't affect that shot. 
Yeah, after NKU broke that press, Jacksonville really never picked up their women, and it was kind of a open shot there for Gayhart. So the Dolphins have it on offense now. Knocked away by Roush, but Edwards runs it down. Edwards, oh, sweeping little half hook there. And Jacksonville likes to drive to the hole, and they finish with contact. Gayhart. Like she was open momentarily. Jacksonville's in that 2 3 zone, wanting to get the ball out of the middle. And that basket's good by Holton. Ellen Holton knocking down the basket. She has six of the 11 Northern Kentucky points. Alford with it. Here's Cargill, and she knocks it down. Noticing that Jacksonville with a nice mid-range game as a team. Yeah, and all those points have really been made possible by drives and dish. NKU's going to have to figure out how to stay in front of their men. Here's Doss from way downtown, and it's short, but it's Christine Roush running it down. There's Holton cutting the basket is Doss, and she lays it up off the baseline. Nice work there by Melody Doss. That was a good pass by Holton to see the cutting Doss. Sophomore out of Center Grove, Indiana. And Sneed drives the basket, gets fouled, and she'll go to the free throw line when we come back from the break. So Jacksonville leads it 16 to 13 as we go to our second media timeout here on ASUN.TV. Congratulations once again to our A-Sun Player of the Week, Florida Gulf Coast, Sarah Hansen. This is the third Player of the Week honor for the junior guard. Hansen led the Eagles to the third straight A-Sun regular season title and their fourth in the last five years. Against Stetson, and Hansen scored 27 points, pulled down seven boards and added four block shots. To find out more about Sarah Hansen's accomplishments, log on to the A-Sun website at AtlanticSun.org. Atlantic Sun Conference is where build, we are building winners for life. You'd think at the last game of the season on senior day, I would have had that catchphrase memorized. But yeah, that would be that, uh, incorrect. If that was your final examination on senior day, I think I think you might be coming back to school next it's year. It's all about the body of work, not that it wouldn't be fun <laughs> to come back. I just don't know how I could pay for it. <laughs> no longer on scholarship. Not that it ever was. So anyhow, as we go back to live action, Northern Kentucky with the ball. Here is Thacker, and she is hammered down low by Cargill. And Kayla Thacker will go to the foul line and shoot a pair. Jade Cargill charged with her first foul, just the team second. Another good pass by NKU to find the cutting. Find the cutting people as Melody Doss saw Kayla Thacker. And that's what NKU's got to do against this smaller lineup against Jacksonville is get the ball inside and create. Thacker hits the first one and rattles the second one out. Then Hopper with that offensive rebound made possible for another possession for NKU. And Doss takes the most of it. Nice little baby hook there as Melody Doss scores in the paint. That's her second bucket. Cargill drives strong, but can't finish. And it's Roush with the rebound. Gayhart with it now. This is Thacker. Doss at the top of the key. In Kentucky now with just 10 seconds left on the timer. Here is Hopper. As it knocked away, gets it back, and all alone is Dawes from way downtown. No good. Hopper goes up and gets it off the back of Cargill, and now it's Gayhart. No good. Rebounded by Wilson, and now the Dolphins are on the run. And a little bit of NBA oh. continuation there is Sierra McLee. Got fouled what looked like on the floor, but they're going to give her credit for the basket in the end one. The hoop and the harm, if you will. That one's going to be tagged on NKU. I believe Rihanna Gayhart's the guilty party. And she is. That's her first. So Sierra Lee, a 5'9 junior out of San Antonio, Texas, is not able to convert the old-fashioned three-point play. She scored five points and pulled down three boards in 21 minutes off the bench. 
down in Jacksonville when these two teams met the first time. Here's Thacker with it. Inside. Gayhart now with it. Looking inside. She works on Holiday and she takes it strong, but not quite strong enough. Hopper has it. It goes out of bounds. And couldn't quite see the signal there. Stephanie Edwards and Queen Alford come back in. It looks like Northern Kentucky will maintain possession. Really hard to see on that opposite end of the floor from where we're positioned. As Thacker from way downtown. Kayla Thacker. That was the old picket fence screen. There's <laughs> Hopper and Doss were just set up top, both setting the screen. And Thacker got a wide open look. Off the hands of Sneed, she has to save it underneath her own basket, and Hopper ends up with it. Northern Kentucky looking to pull out in front for the first time in this one as it's tied up at 19. Roush has it now. She drives, runs out of room, spins, and knocks it down, and Northern Kentucky takes its first lead. That was a nice turnaround by Roush there. Keeping the pivot, solve the open look. Holiday, make that Edwards. To make a lead back to Edwards out of the corner, no good. Ball hits the ground. Roush grabbed it and handed off to Gayhart. Now she'll run it up. Oh, nice pass! I don't know how she found Doss, but she did. And Doss is able to make the basket and create a timeout call by the Dolphins as Jill Dunn has decided she has seen enough and asked for the 32nd timeout. That was a great pass by. Gayhart there to Doss and a good seal by Doss to keep the defender off and make the easy lay in. We'll take a look at the huddle for Jacksonville. Here's that pass. Watch Gayhart drive. Working on Edwards and just kind of throws it over the shoulder of her defender and finds a wide open Doss who converts on the other end. Nice work there. From Gayhart to Doss. And Gayhart. Kept her eyes up the floor and she saw Doss. Take notes there, that is how you dribble with your head up. That's right. So nine minutes left to go, Northern Kentucky leads it by four, Jacksonville with the ball. Brown back in the game, number 24 in green. Edwards shuffled the puppies before she made the move and that's a turnover. So Maggie Wilson will come back in, and McLee will go out. Northern Kentucky, with a four-point lead, trying to extend it, but with Thacker was all alone there for quite some time. Now it's Gayhart. Oh, Ooh. nice wraparound pass. Roush can't convert as the entire Northern Kentucky bench jumped up to his feet during that exchange. Alford in traffic, no good, and Hopper tears it down. Now Roush will drive all the way, and she'll convert this time. Yeah, Gayhart is seeing the floor really well right now. She is making great passes. Wilson has it knocked away by Gayhart again, and this is where coaches say the game is really slowing down for Rihanna Gayhart. Yeah, she is one step ahead for sure. That wall is knocked out of bounds, and that'll bring us to our under eight timeout. But Northern Kentucky with its largest lead of the night, 25-19, right here on ASUN.TV. Fans, if you'd like to get all the latest information about Atlantic Sun basketball, log on to the ASUN website at AtlanticSun.org. You'll get all the information about the exciting ASUN action, including schedules, standings, and information about the players and teams. The Atlantic Sun Conference building winners for life. Jacksonville with the ball, trailing by six. Holiday back in the game, and she travels on the spin move, and yet another turnover created by the Northern Kentucky defense. Yeah, Jacksonville's really nice little demonstration there by Coach <laughs> P, explaining to her team how to how to defense that. Quite frankly, I thought they did very good on that one. Yeah, Jacksonville really hurting themselves with all the, a lot of their turnovers are just unforced airs, travels, bad passes. Roush has it now. 
Tried to find Hopper inside, couldn't get to her, so now they swing it. Hopper. In a double team. Nice bump fake. Creates just enough space in order to convert the basket. Yeah, pump fake to get the defenders in the air. And a nice little finish. Brown with a nice shot. It looks like we're going to have a foul on the rebound attempt. Who are they going to get? It's going to be a foul against Rihanna Gayhart on the rebound attempt. And that will give Jackson Ball the ball back after the made basket underneath its own, its own basket there. So, boy, now that's a tough break for Northern Kentucky, but a nice break for the Dolphins. Yeah, I have a chance to get four points here on this lone trip. And Gayhart decides she's going to fix the mistake by forcing the jump ball. However, the possession error was in Jacksonville's favor. So the Dolphins will maintain possession with 26 seconds left on the shot clock. And actually, they're going to reset the shot clock. So it's back to 30. Jacksonville still has the ball. And now they're going to call it offensive foul. Looked like Brianna Brown either pushed off or set a moving screen, one or the other. But either way, that's an offensive foul that doubles as a turnover. And for Jacksonville, already six turnovers. Gayhart with it. Now it's Thacker. There's Dawes. Backer in the corner, was open for a second, but nice close out there by Cargill. Just four left on the timer as Hopper has it knocked away. She gets it back, and that's going to be a shot clock violation as no one maintained the possession there when it was on the floor. And that's another turnover, this time against Northern Kentucky. So 6.30 left to go before halftime, and Northern Kentucky leading it by six, but Jacksonville has the ball. This is Wilson. Holiday. Brown on the baseline, and that one's blocked by Thacker. Brown goes after it. Nice hustle play. And then she's fouled. It looks like it's going to be Gayhart. If it is, that's her third. Yeah, and right on cue. <laughs> it's almost like she didn't have to be told. Jamie Hamlet gets up to sub in for. Gayhart, which would be all for Gayhart here in the first half, and that's unfortunate. Even though she committed to three fouls, those are probably the only three mistakes she's made. Yeah, her offensive game is on point right now. So Brown will go to the free throw line, and it's already Northern Kentucky with seven fouls. So Brown makes the first and will earn, earn the bonus free throw. 27 22 is our score. Brown. See a freshman out of Haynes City, Florida. And she makes them both. And now she'll go out as Sneed will come back in. It's Brown. She scored four points with five rebounds and had four steals. Nice little floor game she had against NKU down at Jacksonville earlier this season. There's Roush with it. Jacksonville has cut the lead to four. Hamlet still looking for that 100th made free throw or made, made three point shot as Thacker just kind of threw one up there and Jacksonville gets the rebound and starts to push. Wilson can't convert and it's Hopper with a rebound. Thacker, nice pass down low to Dawes, a little too far underneath the basket. Jacksonville ends up with it. Yeah, trying to use that reverse as another defender, but she just didn't take enough dribbles. Nice drive by Offer, but it's blocked by Thacker. Kayla Thacker sending it away as Offer laying it up. And Thacker is probably your best on-ball defender. I know one of the comments that Coach P made during the sideline, during the game against North Florida, as Cargill puts up a shot and makes it, and she told her team on the bench, I can't have Kayla guard everybody. 
got to inspiring the rest of the team is you need to play defense like your teammate does. And a lot of times defense, especially the way Caleb plays it, is all about will and wanting to do it. And there's a three-point shot nailed to the bottom of the basket by Roush. Christine Roush. I almost said her twin sister's name, but I didn't. That Instead, a, I hesitated. That was a high arching three, too. Certainly was. Northern up by five now. Queen Alford. She drives. This time she gets it over Thacker, and it's saved by Hamlet. Normally, that's not a good thing to try to save it underneath the other team's basket, but Hamlet saw a teammate close by. Yeah, it almost looked like if she didn't see a teammate, she was going to hold on to it and just go out of bounds. Now, whatever play they call hockey was what they were supposed to run. That's not what happened there. It's Alford nails the three-point basket. And so Jacksonville makes Northern Kentucky pay for that turnover. And now they cut the Norse lead to two. So Alford with 11 points the first meeting. One of three Jacksonville players in double digits. Oh, speeds down low to Hopper. And she connects. Tierra Hopper, who was held scoreless Thursday night against North Florida. And now she has a pair of buckets with four points. Cargill pulls up from 18, no good. Alford gets down there and rebounds it. No good, she taps it again, and it's out of bounds, and that will send us to our final first half media timeout. But we've got a good one here at the Bank of Kentucky Center. Northern Kentucky leads Jacksonville 32-28 right here on asun.tv. Fans, as you take a look at Alyssa Walterman there, our sideline reporter, she pretty much does it all here for NKU. Also a marketing assistant, and she shoots and produces the NKU Sports Show. And with that lead-in, I just want to remind you, tonight's production is crewed entirely by NKU students. They gain valuable hands-on experience that will benefit them as they enter the job market for more information on the electronic media broadcasting major and Many other degree programs that are offered by Northern Kentucky University. Log on to the website, nku.edu. Northern Kentucky University, dreamers are welcome. Of course, we've got some seniors on this crew tonight, along with Alyssa. We'll be moving on after tonight. Is that basket is good there by Sierra McLee. McLee checked into the game during that timeout. And now she cuts the Northern Kentucky lead to two. Hamlet with an air ball. She was going for number 100 there. Of course, this is the final game for Northern Kentucky, regular season and all. So she's got to get it done tonight. Hopper down low. And that'll open things up for that perimeter game. Hopper's playing very well for NKU down in the lane. 34-30, Northern Kentucky leads it. Of course, Hamlet's going to probably get the rest of the run here in the first half with Rihanna Gayhart on the bench. And Alford loses the handle, and Doss comes up with it. Coach Blitzewhite calls out the play hockey. Let's see if they successfully run it this time. Coach Blitzewhite from Western Wisconsin, so I'm sure she's a hockey fan. Deflected away by Alford. And Edwards on the run. And she lays it up, uses her body wisely to protect herself from the defender, which was Dawes. And that forces Northern Kentucky to call a timeout. Yeah, Coach P is hot right now with her team. As that was a frustration timeout. Whatever the play hockey is, they've not run it very well so far because that's the second time that I was able to notice that Coach P was frustrated with the way that play was run. Or not ran. Or not ran. Yeah. Not run correctly. <laughs> Whatever it was, she was not happy. That's right. She is going to let her team know about it in that timeout. So Northern Kentucky with exactly two minutes to go before the half. They lead it by two here on senior day. Maggie Wilson, number 15 in green, back in the game for Jacksonville. Jacksonville comes and out. She just kicked the ball there on defense. Nice yeah, play by her. Come out in a half court press here, trying to change up the look, trying to get NKU to turn it over. Northern Kentucky with it. 
And thrown away by Roush, but Thacker makes a great effort to try to save it. Almost ran down our one of our officials, Jack Whittemore, who I'm familiar with. He's a 10th region basketball official in the state of Kentucky in high school ball. He's a very good official. Stephanie Edwards with it, number 21. She finds Cargill. Cargill, nice move. Can't finish. Went all the way around the rim, but knocked down. Hopper. Hopper should be able to feast on these smaller post players for Jacksonville. She can't that time, and Sierra McLee ends up with it. Now the Dolphins will walk it up this time. Brown guarded by Doss. She'll take it. No good. And it's knocked over towards us. And that almost made it over the table. Jordan Woodruff almost came up with one there. Yeah, your eyes were lighting up as that ball was coming over. I didn't have to do anything. I knew Woody was going to take care of me. Just like <laughs> I, should, I just thought you had it, had your shooting hands ready. They are, ready they're always ready, and the feet are always square, but I knew <laughs> Woody was going to get that one for me. As Brown goes to the free throw line, and she front ends the first one. And now we're going to see our first look at Caitlin Garrity. She struggled since she suffered that concussion towards the end of January. Hasn't played the last couple of games. Actually, has sat out the last three games. But she'll make her first appearance here with 103 left before halftime. And Brown makes the second one. Just like that, Jacksonville. It's cut the Northern Kentucky lead to one at 34-33. And now Wilson forces Thacker out of bounds, uses her body to do it, and that's a foul. Wilson's first, however, just the fourth team foul. So Northern Kentucky will have to inbound it on the sideline. 55.6 left. I don't know if necessarily Coach P was wanting to play Caitlin Garrity today, but foul troubles with Holton and Hopper and Doss kind of forced the hand. Roush out of the corner, knocks it down. Christine Roush hits double figures off the bench with 10 points. Northern Kentucky up by four. 11 second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Edwards will step back and run the play. She'll just pull up and call her own number and knock it down from the elbow. Nice play there by Edwards. That was a good looking mid range jump shot there. Not a good pass there. Garrity tracks it down. She finds Stacker on the perimeter and Kayla knocks it down. As Edwards shoots from half court and almost puts it in. And wow, what an exciting end to that first half as Northern Kentucky takes a 40 to 35 lead here at the half. Yeah, it about got really exciting there for that three when it dropped by Edwards. That was a complete hustle play there by Caitlin Garrity. That was a pass that was going to go out of bounds. Garrity tracks it down, finds the open Thacker who knocks it down. And Alyssa Walterman is with Coach Don Blitzewhite here. Alyssa, take it away. Thanks, Brady. I'm here with Coach Felicity White. Coach, what can you tell me about the first half? Well, I thought we gave up a lot of points in the first half. We got They got to the free throw line too many times, and we have to make some adjustments. We have to do a better job containing them and keeping them away from the line. And Jamie Hamlet, she has yet to get that last three-pointer. Do you think she's going to get it in the second half? You know what? Right now, Alyssa, we're really concerned about putting ourselves in a position to win the game, and our players feel the same way. So they're not concerned about individual stats. They want to win. All right, that's great. Thanks, Coach. Good luck in the second half. Back to you, Brady. All right, thanks, Alyssa. As we go to halftime with Northern Kentucky leading it 40 to 35 here at halftime from the Bank of Kentucky Center on Senior Night. Northern Kentucky having themselves a nice little senior night. We'll go ahead and kick it to a break here as Northern up by five at the half. Stay tuned right here on ASA. So, Kelsey Simpson, it looks like we might see her towards the end if the game gets out of hand one way or another, but Kelsey Simpson played well in the brief time she was in there. Got pulled down two rebounds in two minutes of action in the early going. As Northern Kentucky with the ball first here in the second half, and Ellen Holton knocks down a top of the key three-pointer, and that brings the NKU bench to its feet. 
And that's two threes for NKU in a matter of about 30 seconds with uh, Kayla Thacker's three at the end of the half. So they are scorching it right now. Yeah, that's a six point turnaround when you look at it that way. Like nice save there by Holiday. And even though she saved it, apparently she must have dribbled it on the sideline. Of course, we probably have, that's probably one of our best vantage points is that sideline. And it really didn't look like she did it unless it maybe the foot might have, you know, touched that line just a little bit. But either way, the officials caught it. Nice work there by Linda Miles, the official on the sideline there. Her, Jack Whittemore, and Todd Moistner are our officials for today's game. And the steal in the bucket for Jade Cargill, and she's showing her guard skills there when really they've tried to convert her into a post player. Yeah, Jacksonville does an excellent job of finishing down low. Hamlet will drive on Cargill, and she'll draw the foul. Hamlet will go to the line. Jamie Hamlet didn't score in the first half, so she's looking to get on the board for the first time. The senior out of Glen Estee High School, she was coached by Jeff Click. Jeff Click, he's coached a lot of good ones. He was a great player himself. He's Amelia High School's all-time leading scorer. He's carved out a nice career as a girls high school basketball coach. And Hamlet knocks it down. So Jamie Hamlet gets her first point of the game. And it's 44-37 Northern Kentucky. Sneed drives, pitches. Wilson can't convert, but Cargill goes and gets it. And Roush tries to take it away from her. But Christine Roush commits the foul. For Christine, that'll be her second. That'll be a non-shooting foul, so the Dolphins will inbound it underneath its own basket. Roush now with two, Holton with two, Doss with two, and Gayhart, of course, with those three. Cargill out of the corner, no good. Nice rebound there by Alford. And goes up in traffic, can't get it, but it's Hopper who not grabs her ninth rebound, and she just ripped that one away. It's Hopper trying to get herself a double-double in her last game in a Northern Kentucky uniform. Six points, nine boards for the senior at a Louisville Butler. As a junior, she led Butler to the Kentucky State Basketball Championship. Here's Hamlet. That was a shot from the elbow there, and that's no good. Sneed working on Holton, and she's fouled, and she'll have to earn her two at the line. It's Holton. He's the smackdown on that one. That's Holton's third personal foul. So Gayhart committed three first half fouls. And now early in the second, Ellen Holton has committed her third. And Sneed misses the front end. This is a good free throw shooting team. Second in the Atlantic Sun at just over 73%. Sneed couldn't convert that time. But she will on this one. They're now 7 of 11 from the line. At halftime, they had four players with six points. So they've spread it around, meaning Jacksonville. Holton trying to find Hopper down low, but Cargill doing a very good job guarding her. But then she commits the foul on the entry pass. That'll be Cargill's third. So all of a sudden, the Dolphins find themselves in some foul trouble. As Cargill will have to go out, and they'll bring in Brianna Brown. Roush inbounds it to Thacker, and Alford almost took it away from her, but commits the foul. So Queen Alford with her second quickly. That's three fouls on Jacksonville as a team. Yeah, Jacksonville has individuals, though, nobody in real serious foul trouble. Alford with two. That is the highest. Here's Hamlet with it. They come out and double team her. She picks up her dribble. She's in trouble. But Hopper comes out to help her. Now she's going to go for the three, and it's short. I'll tell you what, if 
they didn't know before Alyssa Walterman told coach about that number 100 three-point shot. That Ben certainly does know because they definitely jumped up out of their chairs waiting for that one to fall. I think it becomes such a mental thing when you're on the brink of a milestone like that. It's like getting that 3,000 hit in baseball. It seems like once they get to 2999, it takes forever for them to get to that 3,000. Queen Offer goes up to the line. Hamlet's been sitting on 99 for about three, two, three games now. And she knocks down the first one. Sierra McLee will check in. Nope, she can't because she's coming in for the shooter, Offer. Yeah, I know a lot of high school coaches that refuse to reveal those kind of milestones as they approach for that simple fact. As Offer, actually, that was a three-point shot she was fouled on to. Now they can make the substitutions. Hamlet goes out in favor of Gayhart and Doss comes in to replace Hopper. So Alford, seven points, six boards, and she can't make it. Queen Alford, one half of our star watch. Having a nice floor game so far, but couldn't make her free throws on that trip. Here is Gayhart, no good. Thacker goes up and gets the rebound and puts it back in. Alford looked like she got a piece of Thacker when she came down for the rebound. Thacker composes herself and then scores on the stick back. That shot's no good, and Gayhart comes out of the pile with it. Thacker finds Doss. Doss going to work on Brown. Oh, no good. And it's rebounded by Sneed. Boy, that one took a victory roll around the cup. It falls out. Sneed comes back on the other end and hits the nice jumper. Well, you absolutely have to get back on defense, Jacksonville, because if you don't, they are in your grill immediately. Because they shoot a lot of times with more than 20 seconds left on the shot clock. There's Doss from the top of the key. Short. Rebounded by Holiday. Holiday. Pushing it. She finds Sneed. Sneed will pull up. No good. And it's Gayhart ripping down the rebound. Rihanna Gayhart finds Roush. Back to Gayhart. She's wide open, so she'll go ahead and shoot it. She had enough time to put down a dribble and set her feet, but still couldn't knock it down. Alford has it knocked away by Roush, but Queen gets it back. Now it's Sneed. Brown posting up on the smaller. Gayhart misses it. Misses it again. Now there's bodies on the floor, and somehow Roush ended up with it. Roush. Here's Gayhart. Too strong, rebounded by Brown. And as hot as both teams were in the first half, they have definitely cooled off here in the second half. Holiday, number 12 in green, gets it down to Brown. Oh, nice post up there is a slashing McLee can't make the shot and now a foul on the rebound it looks like it's going to be on Gayhart, and that's going to be her fourth it certainly is as we go to our first media break of the second half northern kentucky leads it by five but their key spark plug off the bench just picks up her fourth foul let's see how this transpires when we come back on asun.tv Jacksonville's Queen Alford, who's here tonight, is this week's A-Sun Newcomer of the Week. Last week, the freshman guard averaged 21 points, including a season-high 25 in the Dolphins' win against USC Upstate. Queen Alford has been on a roll as of late, scoring in double digits in her last seven games. To find out more about Queen Alford's accomplishments, log on to the A-Sun website at www.atlanticsun.org. It's Queen Alford tonight in this game, seven points and six rebounds. So Northern Kentucky has done their best to hold her as a new player in the game, a post player actually, number 32 in green. That's Madison Scott, a 6'3 junior, checking into the game. She did not play on New Year's Eve against Northern Kentucky, so this is the first time Northern has seen her. I guess that's a secret weapon when you got a 6'3 player on your bench. You wait till 14 minutes left in the game to put in. And at the buzzer, nice shot there by Edwards. That is one of the few times, I'm guessing, this year that Jacksonville has seen the shot clock under five seconds. 
Edwards knew how to convert. She had that internal time clock ticking. Doss. Here's Holton for three. Nothing but nylon. Ellen Holton. And the assist from Doss, and that's 12 points for Holton, who now leads all scorers. Jacksonville with the ball trailing by six. Here is Wilson. Edwards. Now it's six seconds under the timer. McLee drives through a double team and she travels before she can split the two defenders. So Northern Kentucky with the good defense there. McLee on the turnover. Northern Kentucky. Now go on offense here. It's Doss, they swing it over to Roush. Holton again, no good. This time it's rebounded by Edwards, and she just runs past Hamlet. She'll find Wilson alone in the corner, and she knocks it down. Maggie Wilson, the 5'8 senior out of Lexington Catholic High School in Lexington, Kentucky. Just a little over an hour's drive south from here. Cuts the Northern Kentucky lead in half to three. That was great vision by Edwards there to find Wilson in the corner, all alone for the trait. Hamlet on the bounce. And now it's Doss towards the end of the timer, and Hamlet ends up finding it off the ground, and the shot clock did not recycle. So Hamlet put it up immediately, and it beats the buzzer. Holton, nice deflection as they tried to feed the post. And now we're going to see three starters check back into the game for Jacksonville. Holiday, Cargill, and Alford. So McLee, Scott, and Edwards all go out, and we go back to the traditional for this team, five-guard set. Cargill, this is Alford. Holiday was open. She'll go ahead and shoot it. And although Roush closed out just a little bit too late, and all of a sudden, the Dolphins have now cut the lead to two. Well, they've slowly been chipping away here in this first eight minutes of the second half, and they're looking to get a stop to tie this thing up. There's Holton working on Cargill. Up and under, short, but backer goes and gets it, and she's fouled on the rebound attempt there, so she'll go to the, bas to the foul line here. But not until we take our next media timeout at 11.56 left to go. Northern Kentucky holding on to a two-point lead here on ASUN.TV. Plans now for the 2013 General Shell Atlantic Sun Basketball Championship. The tournament will take place March 6th through the night at the Hawkins Arena on the campus of Mercer University in lovely Macon, Georgia. For more information, log on to the Atlantic Sun website at atlanticsun.org. And don't miss the General Shell Atlantic Sun Basketball Championships. And don't forget, the winner of that tournament will get an automatic berth into the NCAA tournament. It's Kayla Thacker. Hits the first, but misses the second. And now it's Jacksonville with a three-point shot. Could tie this thing up. Sneed will go for three, but away from the ball, even though Sneed made the shot, there is an offensive foul away from the ball. It looked like Madison Scott just threw Ellen Holton to the ground, and that will nullify the game-tying basket. Yeah, it's a big bucket to tie it up, too. That's a big call to take that one away. But you can't run over people. It is a non-contact sport, remember. 11th turnover for Jacksonville. And now Doss is fouled by Sneed. So that's the sixth team foul for Jacksonville. So from here on out, excluding player control fouls, Northern Kentucky will shoot the bonus. Starting with the one plus one. Hamlet with it. Roush. Now it's Thacker for three. No good. Rebounded by Holiday. Holiday will run it 
Oh, she dribbles right past Hamlet. Nice crossover and finishes the one-person fast break for Brittany Holiday. You have to stop the ball in transition. If not, easy layups will become a plenty. Oh, Holiday goes coast to coast and cuts the lead for Northern Kentucky at one. And Scott blocks Ellen Holton's shot. And now Jacksonville will push it. Holiday to Sneed. Sneed drives and finds Scott down low, but she can't hang on to it. It's out of bounds, but it'll stay right there with Jacksonville. Doss looked like she kind of got a finger on that one. Wilson will inbound it. Can't find nobody. Finally gets it through Holiday. Of course, the shot clock did not recycle, so it's at 15 now. Holiday looking for Scott. Down low, finds her. Goes to the opposite side of the basket and converts. And that will cause Dawn Blitzewhite to call timeout here at the 10-25 mark. So right now, Jacksonville takes the lead for the first time since the early going of the first half, leading at 53-52. Coach Blitzewhite trying to figure out a way here to regroup the troops here as we're you know, a little bit more than halfway a little bit more than halfway left into this 10 25 <laughs> left and northern kentucky trying to hold on to this one as they lose the lead here jay uh what do you think coach is telling them in this timeout well you have to you have to stop the drive and that's what jacksonville's doing right now they're just driving in finding the open open players on kickouts or they're just finishing with the contact Jacksonville has nine different players that have scored for them tonight, and that is an unreal stat, really. You expect your one or two scores to, you know, be the top of your score, and then another three, maybe four, if you're lucky, to score outside that. And they have nine to score tonight, and a lot of them have multiple field goals. Northern Kentucky trying to regroup here. They are trying to send these four seniors out of here today with a win. Not a lot of seniors get to say, I won my last basketball game I ever played. Collegiate game, of course, Northern Kentucky, as they reclassified in Division I, are not eligible for postseason play, so this is it for them. So a win would be nice. And Coach P put back in Gay Hart with those four fouls. So let's pay attention to see if she's a little cautious on the defense side. Pick up with a half-court press here. Jacksonville. They're trying to get it to Hopper down low, but Brown doing a good job of stopping her on that post. Gayhart with six on the timer, has it blocked, and Alford comes away with it. I like Alford's game. She's a hustler for sure. And it's Brown on the other end, no good, but it's Gayhart with the rebound. Dacker will drive baseline. Nice pass over to Holton, but she can't convert, and it's Alford once again with the board. <coughs> Edwards now running the point for Jacksonville. This is Wilson. Wilson works off the screen, and on the switch, Hopper picks her up on defense. They're going to call a traveling violation against Sneed, and that's another turnover for Jacksonville. Yeah, it looked like she changed her pivot foot before she dribbled there. So Northern Kentucky trailing it by one here. As you look at Sneed, she's the team's leading scorer. And Roush drugged the pivot foot, so... That's a turnover right back at you by Northern Kentucky. Yeah, pivot foots are not working out right now. Seems to be a point of emphasis. So Jacksonville gets it back. Edwards on the high post to Sneed, guarded by Holton, and Sneed would just dribble and misses the shot, and it's rebounded down low by Hopper. Thacker. Trying to get Holton inside. Didn't want to risk it, so they pull it back out. Hopper. 
Swing it to Roush. Roush will drive. Ran out of real estate there. And here is Gayhart from the top of the key. No good, but it's Hopper who will chase it down. And that's 10 rebounds for Hopper. And Dawn Plitzewide has to call a timeout here in order to save the possession. She felt like Hopper was out of position there as far as having the ball kind of pinned up against the uh, sideline there and basically saved a post player who was too far away from the basket there and in a, in a position to pretty much cause a turnover. Yeah, Hopper did a great job of getting to that ball. Coach B saving the possession here. It's looking like every possession is going to be pretty important here in this game as a one-point game with eight and a half left. I'll tell you what, these teams have gone cold on the offensive side. They're going to have to find a way to score points. Christine Roush will inbound the ball right in front of the Northern Kentucky bench. Madison Scott is back in the game for Jacksonville. Roush out of the corner, and she knocks one down. That's the first shot Roush has made here in the second half. Now she has 13 points. That timeout proved to be a good one as the play was drawn up for Roush to get the open look on the three. Alford now with it as Northern Kentucky takes the two-point lead on the Roush three-point shot. Alford fakes, drives, pulls up, and cans it. Queen Alford. It's nine points for her. The freshman out of Decatur, Georgia. Her mid-range game is on point tonight. Down low is Hopper, and Hopper converts. That's eight points for Hop as her teammates call her. Northern leads it by two. And there, nice defensive play by Thacker, but she's going to be called for a foul as she tried to stop the dribble handoff move there by Jacksonville. They're actually calling the foul on McClee with the illegal pick. All right, well, we'll sort things out when we come back from the break. Northern Kentucky leads it at the 7.24 mark here on 8sun.tv. Welcome back to the Bank of Kentucky Center as Northern Kentucky leads by two over Jacksonville. Jay, kind of explain what happened on that last play there. Uh, McClee was going for the handoff, and Thacker did a great job of getting in front to try to get that steal. And McClee kind of set the illegal pick, not set, to try to knock Thacker off so she wouldn't get the steal, and the ref called her for it. Thacker misses the shot there, and Alford comes up with another rebound. Alford's got to be close to a double-double. She's got nine points. I believe that's her tenth rebound. We haven't got our media timeout stat sheet as of yet, so we'll let you know as soon as we do whether Alford has a double-double in this one. And Gayhart took one step too many, and that's a turnover for Northern Kentucky. So McClee will go out. McClee's played very well off the bench for Jacksonville. Jacksonville looks to, at the very least, tie, if not go ahead, with a three-point shot on this possession. 6.30 mark left to play. Wilson guarded by Holton. This is Alford. Alford drives on Thacker and falling away. Puts it in. Nice work there by Queen Alford. Impressed with Alford and Sneed, uh, their ability to finish around the basket, even with contact. It's 11 points for Queen Alford. Backer out of the corner, no good, and it's Wilson with the rebound. Holiday swings it over to Alford. Alford falls down, but finds Madison Scott. Holiday drives, and it looks like she extended that free arm to create separation and got called for it. So on the player control foul, that's the eighth team foul against the Dolphins. So Northern Kentucky dodged a bullet there as with the tie game there. Jacksonville could have went ahead, but Northern Kentucky gets it back. 
Holton, nice entry pass by Gayhard, and Holton gets the bucket. And Jacksonville goes for a lot of steals when the, when the ball is thrown to the post. And a lot of times, NKU's post players just turn and have a wide open layup, just like that one right there. I think with a smaller lineup, that might be something that they're coached to do, as opposed to try to, you know, guard in the post, standing up, because they're going to get beat that way too. Wilson, she'll pull up with two on the timer, no good, but it's Brown with the rebound over top of Hopper, no good, and Hop ends up with it. This is Gayhart. She's going to blow past Edwards and pull back up when the help defense came and picked her up. Now Gayhart with it back. Gayhart trying to get it inside to Holton, but can't, so on the high post, Hopper gets it. Still trying to get it to Holton, but Tracy Sneed doing an excellent job defending that. And now we have a whistle out in the backcourt. Well, I don't know what the whistle was for. They didn't call a foul, so Northern Kentucky inbounding it. Not sure what happened there. They didn't make a signal towards the table. Did they kick the ball or something? I don't know what that call was. It was just a whistle, huh? <laughs> I think they saw the subs and wanted to get him in. Oh, that's not true, but <laughs> that's the excuse we'll take. Of course, that's the pitfalls of not being on the press row where they report the fouls to you right in front of you. But that means we just got to work a little harder, my friend. Hopper has it knocked away, picks it back up, shoots over the double team, no good, and now it's Edwards. Edwards. Skip pass to Wilson. Back out to Sneed from the top of the key. No good. And it's rebounded by Hopper. So Gayhart will pull it back out. Roush drives on McClee. And she put up the shot that almost went in, but not quite. So McClee be called with the foul and when we come back northern kentucky will be shooting free throws as the norse lead it by two here in crunch time with 345 left to go on asun.tv welcome back to the bank of kentucky center as you take a look at your game reset northern kentucky up by two right now northern kentucky has only committed 14 fouls so jacksonville not in the bonuses of yet where the next team foul against Jacksonville. Northern Kentucky will shoot the double bonus. The Dolphins have the possession arrow in its favor. But thanks to a couple of early timeouts called by Northern Kentucky here in the second half, they have just two timeouts left where Jacksonville with four. As Christine Roush will step to the line and shoot two free throws coming out of the break. And the first one rattles out. And Holiday will come back in. And she replaces... Stephanie Edwards. So Roush hits the second one. So that's 14 points for her. Queen Alford just one rebound away from a double-double for Jacksonville. But in this trip, she's looking to score, and she puts it up no good, and it's rebounded by Cargill. Holiday for three, got it, and the score is tied at 60. A big offensive rebound by Jacksonville there. Makes that three possible. 14 points on the day for Brittany Holiday. The sophomore out of Greenville, South Carolina. Now it's Northern Kentucky. Trying to generate some offense, and a nice take to the basket by Gayhart, and she converts. Gayhart with a big drive there, and she has really become explosive off the bench for NKU. Two-point Northern Kentucky lead as we dip under three minutes left. Cargill gets to Wilson. Back to Cargill. She finds Sneed in the post, and nice defense there by Holton, forcing the bad shot, and Roush ends up with it. Gayhart will hand it off to Facker. Roush with it. Hopper top of the key. 
Gayhart gets it back. Falling down is Holiday, so Gayhart pulls up and shoots it and then gets her own rebound off the miss. And Northern Kentucky will pull it out and milk some more time off this clock as we hit the two minute mark left to go. And Northern Kentucky with a two point lead. Gayhart with it. Now the high post to Holton and now it's a, what's the call here? Some, they got Hopper with the offensive foul away from the ball. The way, like she tried to clear out or something there. The way they that the uh, ref signaled that was like a, like a, I don't even know, like an she, airplane. Yeah, she, yeah, <laughs> it looked like a travel violation at first. Linda Miles with that call. There's Alford, pulls up, Thacker swipes at it, and Alford still puts it in. Alford. I thought that Thacker got a piece of that one. Alford has kept Jacksonville in this game these past five minutes. 62-62. We've got a barn burner here at the Bank of Kentucky Center in the first game of our doubleheader as the two men's teams will play coming up next. On the missed shot, Jacksonville gets the rebound, and now head coach Jill Dunn will call timeout with 109 remaining, and she'll set her offense here with 23 seconds to go on the timer. What would you suggest if you were Coach Dunn that you'd say to your players in that Jacksonville huddle? As of right now, I would definitely be running a play to Queen Alford as she is just hot as a pistol right now, and I don't remember the last time she missed. Yeah, she's played well, that's for sure. 11, 13 points, nine rebounds, just one board away from a double-double. Tierra Hopper, on the other hand, with 13 rebounds off eight points. So, Northern Kentucky trying to get a stop here, and that is imperative for Coach Dawn Blitzewhite is to make sure that her defense gets a stop here on this possession. Eight consecutive double-digit scoring games for Queen Alford. Hey, just remember this. She is only a freshman. That is right. She had a double-double down at Lipscomb Thursday night. 19 points, 10 rebounds. So she is looking like she wants to be the newcomer of the week once again in the A-Sun. Holiday drives, bounces off of Holton and into the basket. Nice body control there by Brittany Holiday. Nice. And the Dolphins take the two-point lead. Nice body control and great play there to set up that cleared lane for that easy drive. 40 seconds left. Roush with the pull-up jumper. No good. Rebounded by Hopper. No good. She gets it back. Three players guarding her. No foul call. A lot of contact. And right now, just a one-second differential, and Northern Kentucky is going to have to try to get a steal or just go ahead and foul right away, and that's what they choose to do. And there was all kinds of contact, but no call there as Hopper went up three times and couldn't come away with a basket. So Jacksonville, and of course, Northern Kentucky was not in the bonus until now. That was the 16 foul there committed by Thacker. So now they're going to have to foul again. With 24 seconds left in the game, the shot clock is turned off. And Roush is just going to go ahead and try to steal it. And they're going to call the foul now against Courtney Roush on Christine Roush. Excuse me. And the Bank of Kentucky Center, this is the loudest I think I've ever heard this place. And it is all in disapproval of the official Linda Miles. And it's not even that it was, it was or wasn't a foul. You know, I'm not a referee, so I can't tell you that. But it was the trail official that called it as the lead official was right on top of that play and didn't call anything. And I think that is what Coach P and her 2,000 supporters are, <laughs> are most upset about. So that will send Brittany Holiday to the foul line to shoot one and the bonus. Tough call there. I think some frustration also on the residual call from where Hopper had the three chances at the basket. And that one kicks off the back end of the iron, shoots straight up in the air and into the basket. And that gives JU a three-point lead. And if Holiday can convert this three throw, it becomes a two-possession ball game. This 
Hopper goes out. Brittany Holiday. And it's a four-point Jacksonville lead, and the Dolphins will call timeout to set the defense at 22.9 left to go. Northern Kentucky here, they need two scores. It's the, it's the old uh, chicken or the egg theory. Do you go for the quick three? Do you go for a quick two? You've got to score twice no matter what. What do you do in this situation? Uh, you just take the best available shot. Um, if it's a three, it's a three. Shoot it, knock it down, make it. If it's a two, you would prefer that just because it would probably be a lot quicker and a more high percentage shot. See Coach Dawn Plitzewhite trying to come away with another victory here as Northern Kentucky has won eight of its last ten games, trying to make it nine out of 11 to close out the season because this is the final ball game of the year for this group. 66-62 Jacksonville. Looking to come in here and steal one away as Gayhart has trouble handling it. Has to shoot the three. No good. And on the rebound, a foul is called, and it looks like it's against Jacksonville. And that is going to be a shooting foul also. Well, not a shooting foul, but it's going to be get NKU to the line. It will be a double bonus is what it is. So was on the rebound, but since it's the 10th personal foul, that's the double bonus. As the foul was called against Jacksonville's Maggie Wilson, and Roush hits the first one. <clears throat> that cuts the lead to three, 66-63. Hamlet will come back in, and now Northern Kentucky will use its final timeout here. To, see, to try to uh, set the strategy. 15.3 seconds to go. You're trailing by three. Is this a situation where you try to miss on purpose, get the ball back, and set something up for a three-point shot? Or do you go ahead and make it and try to force the pressure with a two-point uh, advantage? I would go ahead and hit the free throw. Jacksonville's still in the one-and-one, one, so they still have to earn both free throws, so it's not guaranteed that they're even going to get two free throws. Right now, Coach P's probably just trying to find out who she wants to foul on the Jacksonville squad. I tell you what, this is a good free throw shooting team for Jacksonville at 73%. Let's go, On your feet. As Roush will step up to shoot the back end of the double bonus here. And she goes for the make and does make it. And this will be the final Northern Kentucky timeout. As I jumped the gun on the previous timeout. So Northern Kentucky, and that's another caveat that you have to remind your team. No timeouts remaining. So you have to play on from here with 15.3 seconds. You trail by two, but you can set up your press here, and that's probably exactly what you, you, you call out your press and then set up an offensive play all in one timeout, I'm supposing. Yeah, I would do that. And then you're one that, yeah, definitely set up the offensive play. As you, if you're running hockey, you want to run it right this time. You, you don't want any second guessing. You've got to have a play ran, and you've got to either get a quick steal or foul pretty soon because you don't want too much more time to let go because it gets under 10 seconds. It becomes a lot harder of a game. Tracy Sneed will inbound it, and she will be able to run the baseline if necessary as she gets it into Alford, who dribbles away from Roush, who has a hard time trying to foul her. But she does with 13.7 left to go. And for Roush, that's her fourth personal foul. And that forces Alford to the line. It's Queen Alford on the season is an 80% free throw shooter. But you know, with Alford at 80%, Cargill 74 and a half, Holiday 89 and a half, and Maggie Wilson 91.7, you know, Pick your poison, basically, when it comes to that. Yeah, absolutely. And what confidence they have in Alford to send the freshman to the line. And she misses the first one, and Northern Kentucky will have a chance to win it right here. And down low to Holton, up and in, and they go for the two, and the score is tied with 7.2 left. They went for the two-pointer to ensure the tie, but that gives Jacksonville another chance, and they will possess the ball for the final time. And what a heads-up play by Kayla Thackers. She got that ball in the three-point line. 
and she's no stranger to the clutch shot this year. She had a chance to shoot that, but she saw Ellen Holton cutting for the higher percentage shot and delivered a great pass. For the Watch easy Gayhart. Two. Gayhart's gonna split, pass over the press, find the wide open Thacker, and then when Cargill closes out, that leaves Holton open as Cargill had to go away from her defensive assignment, and Holton converts it. What a pass by Thacker. Heads up play by the junior. Yeah, classic case of the ball drawing the defender away from the basket, and Thacker finds the open player, and Holton does her job by making the basket. 16 points for the senior out of Elgin, Illinois, playing her final college basketball game. As right now, you've got two of the four seniors out on the floor right now for Northern Kentucky. Ellen Holton and Tierra Hopper, they are joined by Gayhart, Thacker, and Roush. Tracy Sneed will inbound the ball. You have Queen Alford, Brittany Holiday, Jade Cargill, and Maggie Wilson, the starting five for Jacksonville, and it's Alford with Thacker guarding her. She drives, she lays it up, no good. It's rebounded by Hopper and will go to overtime. Free basketball here at the Bank of Kentucky Center on senior night. A little bonus minutes for the seniors. So Northern Kentucky with new life here as they trailed for much of the latter end of that second half and they force overtime on the Ellen Holton basket and Queen Alford, I, I would imagine that's the shot she wanted because she's been driving to the basket all night long. She drove it all the way to the basket, did not settle for the pull-up jumper and just wasn't able to knock it down and Hopper with the clutch rebound there as she has 16 rebounds on the night. Tierra Hopper and Christine Roush also with four fouls and on the other side, Jay Cargill has four a, fouls for Jackson. In a season's of first, sorry about that Jay, in a season of first for Northern Kentucky, playing its first overtime game of the season. Yeah, they had potential to play a couple overtime games, but always found a way to hit a clutch shot toward the end. Tierra Hopper with 15 rebounds now, that ties a career mark. As Maggie Wilson to Queen Alford. Here's Wilson for three, no good. And loose ball and Holiday comes up with it. Sneed begs for it out there on the perimeter. She gets it back to Holiday. She'll go ahead and drive. Gets it down to Cargill. No good and it's Hopper with her career high 16th rebound. And Northern Kentucky is able to stop Jacksonville on its first offensive set. Now the Norris will be on offense here. Gayhart, here's Hopper. Going for that double-double, and she'll get it with her 10th point. 10 points, 16 rebounds for the senior out of Louisville, Kentucky. Wilson, now it's Cargill, and it's deflected by Roush into the hands of Tierra Hopper. Hopper is absolutely everywhere right now for the Norse. Tierra Hopper was held to as many points as I scored on Thursday night, zero, and has come out and made up for it on this one. Her final home game as a collegiate player, her final game ever as a collegiate player. Here is Gayhart, and she finishes at the rim. Gayhart taking a book out of Sneed's, or taking a page out of Sneed's book there, as with a tough finish with the contact. Northern Kentucky with a four point lead here in overtime. Here's Wilson. Holiday out of the corner, and she knocks it down to quiet this crowd. That is a big time shot by Holiday. 70 to 69, Northern Kentucky leads it. Glad you joined us here for this exciting basketball action on ASUN.TV. And the Shots no good by Holton, and it's rebounded by Cargill. Alford with it. Back out front to Holiday. Holiday will drive. And with the dipsy do finishes, and J.U. takes the lead. What a finish by Holiday there. She was on her way, maybe on the ground when she threw that one up and in. Just think what this team could do with a strong post player. Here is Gayhart with the take to the rim and the up and under, and it's Rihanna Gayhart. 
And Kay Hart and Holiday just going back and forth right now. We approach the two minute mark left in overtime, 72-71 in favor of Northern Kentucky. But Jacksonville is not going away quite yet. Wilson, this is Alford, and it's blocked by Hopper. Cargill ends up with it. The shot clock does not reset. I don't think the Dolphins realize it. At two, Wilson, no good. And it's Gayhart tracking down the rebound, and Northern Kentucky with a one-point lead will dribble it up. Ninety seconds left to go in overtime. Roush with it. They're trying to get it to Hopper down low, but Sneed won't let him entry it. And it's Holton no good, but Hopper rebound number 17, and she is fouled by it looks like Holiday, and she'll go to the line and shoot that double bonus. And it will be Holiday, just her second personal foul. So Tierra Hopper. We'll get two free throws here. Northern Kentucky leads it 72 71. 119 left in overtime as Hop with a career high in rebounds and knocks down her 11th point to give the Norse a two point lead. Now they'll bring in their post player, Madison Scott, along with Edwards. They're just trying to find a way to slow down Hopper. Yeah, they need to find somebody score in the block and or just get rebounds at this point and Hopper makes them both it's still a one possession game as Northern Kentucky leads it by three and Jacksonville with the ball and Jacksonville will go ahead and call timeout with 115 left in the overtime I tell you what this has been a barn burner here tonight and this is just the first game of our doubleheader yeah I would uh think that the men have a lot to live up to right now with this game going on is this has been exciting the whole time and of course the men's team is in the tunnel right alongside us as they're waiting for this one to end and they're uh, catching some exciting action here from the women as northern kentucky's women playing its final game of the season here at home on senior night and they're trying to come away with an overtime victory here it's in front of a great crowd here on senior night as well they got a good crowd. They got people up in the top. It is a good crowd here at the Bank of Kentucky Center. Defense. Most definitely. Defense. Defense. Northern Kentucky. Tra they are ahead 74-71, but Jacksonville has the ball. Here's Alford with it, guarded by Thacker. Wilson, now it's Edwards, guarded by Roush. Cargill posting up, and Edwards decides not to bring it into her. One minute left. Alford working on Thacker. Three on the timer. I don't think they realize it, but Scott puts it up at one. Rattles off, no good. Roush tries to chase it down. And what's the call? Hank Roush was out of bounds there. So Tracy Sneed will come back in to replace Cargill. That means Jacksonville will inbound it under its own basket with a fresh shot clock, 46.2 left to go. So there's a quite a bit of a differential, 16 seconds between game clock and shot clock. Edwards pulls up for the short dumper, and it's short. Battle for the ball. It looks like a hockey scrum. And on the jump ball, Northern Kentucky comes away with the alternate possession with 37.1 to go. And if you're Jacksonville, if you don't get a steal very early in this shot clock, I think you have to foul. They're going to set up the full court press here as it'll be Gayhart inbounding the ball to Holton. who will give it back to Gayhart. It looks like they're going to kind of slack back, almost letting Northern Kentucky get it across half court. <laughs> Backer. Looks like Gayhart kind of got in her way there. Not good spacing. Gayhart gets it back. She looked like she was going to drive on Holiday. Now she dribbles it between her legs. Spins. Holiday falls down. That gives Gayhart the open space, and she converts. Gayhart with a little dipsy do, cross the defender, and got the two. Sneed for three. No good. Ball knocked around, and Gayhart ends up with it in Northern Kentucky.
Kentucky is going to win it here on senior night, 76-71 in overtime at the Bank of Kentucky Center. Well, how about that one for a first game of a doubleheader? I'm not sure that was the undercard there. Tell you what, throughout this season, the women's program have proved that they are an exciting bunch here as they now have finished the season with a record of 14 and 12, 11 and 6 in the conference. And there is no way, no matter how bright you you tried to, how, how full the glass you tried to project it to be, that you could have thought that this was what would happen with Northern Kentucky this season. A 14 and 12 overall record and 11 and 6 in the conference in the first year of Division One. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they just came out, you know, with everything to prove really coming up as a Division One program, not getting a lot of respect in the preseason polls in the A-Sun, and they just proved everything and come out here with a winning record and competed with every Atlantic Sun Conference team, letting the Atlantic Sun know they are a force to be reckoned with. And Tierra Hopper with the Herculean effort, the shot that tied it there in uh, overtime, that sent it to overtime by Ellen Holden. The seniors really stepped up here today for Northern Kentucky. It was an amazing performance for this women's basketball team as Coach Plitza White is greeted by the president of the university and on a congratulating her on a huge win here as Northern Kentucky comes away and ends its season with a huge victory, 76-71 in overtime as we're efforting to get Coach Plitzewhite over here for a post-game interview. We don't normally do that for the post-game, but with it being senior day, an exciting victory. Alyssa Walterman is efforting that now for us. And I tell you what, Jay, once again, the men going to have a big task in front of them to match that performance. Yeah, absolutely. But, hey, the crowd is energized now. Most so they'll, they definitely. will be happy to get this guy's game started, and they will be behind their Norse. Five players for Northern Kentucky in double figures, including Tierra Hopper, 12 points, 17 rebounds. And Alyssa Walterman has Coach P with her right now. Alyssa, take it away. Well, Coach, a huge win tonight. It was also a big night tonight because of your seniors. Tell me about them. Well, I'll tell you what, they found a way to pull this one out, and – Kelsey Simpson's a great kid, Got back, came back from an ACL injury faster than any player I've ever coached. What a tribute to her hard work and effort. The other three players have started for us all year long. Jamie Hamlet, Ellen Holton, and Tier Hopper, and all three of them played very spectacular on senior night. So good for them. Yes, definitely. And also, it's your last game of your very first season at NKU. How does that feel? Well, our kids are really tough and gritty kids. They played really hard, and they played really well and had a great year. 30th consecutive winning season. You're bringing on the legacy. Any more thoughts on that? No, I'm just going to go excited, tell our players how excited we are for them right now. Well, congratulations again, and thank you for talking with me, Coach Felicity White. And back to you, Brady. Thank you, Coach P, for an exciting season, but we've got one more game to go coming up. But let's send it to a break now. We'll come back with our final stats and some out-of-town scores as Northern Kentucky wins in overtime in game number one against Jacksonville by a score of 76-71. We'll be right back here on asun.tv. Welcome back to the Bank of Kentucky Center here. Brady Labor along with Jay Chadwell after an exciting overtime win for Northern Kentucky, 76-71 over Jacksonville. And five players in double figures for Northern Kentucky as they improve and end their season at 15-12 and 12 overall, 12-6 12 and 6 in the league. Yeah, absolutely. And that's a great record considering the start that they had wasn't exactly what they wanted, but their last nine games, they're eight and one, closing out the season on that eight and one record and 15 and 12 in the year. That is a great inaugural season for the Division One program. Let's take a look at our final stats as Northern Kentucky shoots at 40% compared to 39 for Jacksonville. The free throw line, Northern Kentucky nine out of 13, but 10 out of 17 for Jacksonville. Jacksonville out rebounded the Norse, but the Norse had 16 assists to 11 for Jacksonville. Jacksonville forced 11 turnovers, but committed 16 of their own as Northern Kentucky led by Tierra Hoppers, 12 points, 17 rebounds, 16 for Christine Roush, 13 off the bench for Rihanna Gayhart, 16 for Ellen Holton. It was Brittany Holiday, 23 points and six rebounds and Queen Offer 13 and nine for Jacksonville. Let's take a look at some other women's scores around the Atlantic Sun Conference. Stetson, Gets a big win over Mercer, 
to 60. And South Carolina Upstate defeats East Tennessee State by a score of 60 to 56. Also in the first half, Lipscomb right now leading North Florida by two points. And then later on tonight, Florida Gulf Coast will host Kennesaw State down in Fort Myers. And that's your A-Sun scoreboard. And fans, if you thought that was exciting, we've got one more game left to go. It'll be the men's game between Jacksonville and Northern Kentucky. It'll be Northern Kentucky Senior Day for the men. And that's coming up shortly here on asun.tv. For all our staff here, we'll be back in about 20 minutes or so as your final score overtime in the women's game. It's Northern Kentucky 76, Jacksonville 71. See you in just a few minutes, ladies and gentlemen, on asun.tv.